Hello everyone, with hiking, climbing, and camping season now in full swing, and after a full year of use, we're reviewing the kids' Broby Pants by Rima. Hi there everyone, Jason here again. Today we're doing a review of the Broby Softshell Kids Pants made by Rima. We're doing a review after a full year of hard use. And we're gonna talk about, with a little bit of amazement, how our family is looking forward to year two of having our kids in the same pant. Which, spoiler alert, means these pants are very durable and adjustable. First, I wanna talk about the pants comfort. There's little that can test the comfort of a garment better than multi-day camping or backpacking. You are wearing the same clothes for a few days in a row, you're gathering dirt and micro rocks, and sometimes then sleeping in them. Our kids love the comfort and demand that we have these pants clean and ready to go for their next outdoor adventure. We're talking about your Rima Broby softshell pants. And the first thing I wanna ask you guys is, how comfortable are they? Are they like scratchy or do they feel soft? Do they rub on your skin wrong? Like, like, they're not one, exactly, one at a time, please. They're not exactly soft, but they have a comfortable feel for them that I can definitely relax in. <laughs> you can relax in them. What do you want to say, Kate? I'd like to say that they're like the second comfiest pants I have. What's the most comfiest pants you have? That's probably like regular. Like they're sweatpants, the ones you have, your athletic pants? Yes. So next to your athletic pants, these are the next comfiest pants. Do they make your skin itch? Do they rub you and so that you get chafes? That means like hot spots that you want to scratch or anything? No. No? I never get chafes. I never they get have chafes a comfortable in my life. Feel. Another major element of comfort to consider, particularly for an outdoor active pant, is ease of movement. This pant is 5% elastane, so it does provide a bit of minimal stretch, so that helps, but really, the amount of stretchy material is kept pretty small in order to maintain the durability of the pant. Again, we'll talk about durability in more depth later. So while the stretch helps somewhat with freedom of movement, the two major design features that help with this a lot are first, the half elastic cuff. The back half is elastic while the front half is not. This allows the elastic to help grab the bottom of the leg and keep the pant leg down when you're just walking, but it also allows the freedom to ride up the leg fairly easily when you're in really deep leg bends. The second design feature is articulated knees. That is, the fabric is brought in a little bit behind the knee through the rear stitching and bowed out through the front of the knee through the extra fabric. This makes the pants slightly curved rather than fully straight, matching the natural shape of a leg. The result is that the pant doesn't bunch behind the knee or grab the front of the knee when the kids bend deep. So what about moving in them? You guys do a lot of different movements because you guys rock climb in them, so you gotta put your legs in all sorts of weird positions. Do these feel good to move? Do you ever feel like you're trying to put your foot over there and the clothes is holding you back? Nope, no. They're super flexible. Well, That's like, probably why they're, ma they're made to be super flexible, yeah. so you can move easily and quickly. There isn't a gusseted crotch, however, and I would prefer to see that feature to allow more hip articulation. Pants also need to be breathable, or maybe more accurately, strike the right balance between breathability and weather protection. This pant breathes well enough that the kids have never complained about sweaty legs, even on our hottest days hiking. But they also cut the wind to keep any biting cold from seeping in, which can easily happen where we live and up in the mountains. Another element of weather protection is UV protection, and the Rima Broby has a UPF rating of 50 plus. So we don't hesitate to take our kids out in the high altitude that increases the intensity of those UV rays from the sun. No sunburns on my pale kids' legs. And finally, when it comes to weather protection, we need to think about water resistance. Now to be clear, these pants aren't designed to be waterproof, and they're not. That's the primary price you pay for breathability but these pants are water resistant and quick drying. And the combination of the two provide enough protection that we've been tramping through the rivers and streams and in the mild rain without needing to throw on another fully waterproof layer. Taking all these elements as a whole, we've ended up with a pant that we can use year round. The only exception 
is deeply cold days or days that are just about playing in the snow. But with a base layer underneath, we've been able to use these pants even in midwinter, as long as we're doing something with a lot of movement and building up some body heat. Thank you for coming to with the video. Good job bleeding. That means you like the air out. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that. So when you guys are like working really hard, we're walking uphill or you guys are on a hard rock climb and you're wearing those pants and so you're generating a lot of heat. Do you find that your pants make you too hot or do they feel comfortable? Oh, they're, they're pretty much over hot air out, and I like that. When I actually keep some of the heat that's warm if it's like a chilly day or something. What about wind? When it's super it's windy, good. it blocks the wind? Oh yeah, it blocks like half of the wind doors. I Have like you ever that. noticed, like remember when we climbed Observatory Rock and it was super windy on top? Did you guys remember feeling any wind? Oh, we felt some wind, but this blocks like half of the wind. Yeah, so pretty good wind resistance. Yes. yes. <laughs> Look at that. It just like, it completely beat it up and rolled off. <laughs> more, more than that. <laughs> See, look at that, it just beads up. And then if you tilt your leg, it just falls off. Don't so, have feet. you guys found that you've ever been like really wet and uncomfortable in these pants? Or nope, have you done a pretty nope, good no, job? no, 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 no. The pants design features start with two hip pockets. Each has a lower rivet to keep the pockets from tearing as our little guys jam their fists into the pockets. The pockets don't zip shut, but they're deep enough to really hold items. For instance, we carry our snacks in our pant pockets when it's cold out to keep them from freezing, and we haven't lost a snack yet. But then there's the adjustability at the waist, and this has proven to be a big deal for us. There's an elastic webbing that runs inside the waist fabric and is exposed at two points for adjustment. The webbing has reinforced slits throughout, and you can pull a button through on each of those adjustment points, making it possible to shrink the waist down multiple sizes. So if you're willing to buy a pant leg that's just a bit too long and then rely on that elastic cuff, then you can buy a full size up in the pant, cinch down the waist, and allow the kid to grow into the pant over multiple seasons. Which of course sounds great, right? As long as the pant survives multiple seasons. And this is where the Broby pant really shines. We've rock climbed, and scrambled, and scooted over dirt and shale. We've slipped, and fallen, and slid. Nothing has created any significant damage. After all that, let's take a full scan of the pant. All of the stitching is intact. And looking at the inside of the pant, you can see the robustness of that stitching. There are no tears or holes the flexible fabric being just flexible enough to move the fabric around sharper objects. In fact, looking over the entire pant after a year of heavy, heavy use, I've only found this one section showing any real wear. So yeah, we've been super pleased with our Rima Broby pants. And when our kids do grow out of them eventually, we plan on donating what are likely to be pants that are still in really good shape, and then going out and buying another pair for each boy. When I want to take you guys hiking and I don't have the pants, what, what do you guys say? You ready? Well, we're kind of angry. You guys are kind of angry when I don't have the pants? Yeah. There was one hike that we went on that I didn't ha have the hiking pants, so you guys got mad at me. <laughs> Because you need to have your hiking <laughs> and your climbing pants. Do you have any particular kids' clothing items that have been indispensable to your family's outdoor adventures? Let us know in the comments. And if you want additional thoughts related to this video and every video we produce, along with links to the equipment we discuss, sample gear lists, sample itineraries, and links to other outdoor resources, please visit our website at shortguysbetaworks.com. The link's in the description below. And if you want to be alerted as we release new content, please subscribe and ring that bell. We produce educational content like this, as well as short films of our family adventures, and we release something new every week. So if you have ideas for content that you'd like to see, you can suggest those in the comments section too. We'll see you again soon, and keep on getting more out of that big outside.